just a couple of different things. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell them when you started. Good. Okay, so I'm going to show you where um, the tips are. We keep the tips for these guns. We walk right over here. Kremlin for the finish and sealer tips. So when we, on the weekends we put the tips in here for the finish and sealer. The same thing with the paint guns. These are the paint tips in here. I usually pull these out with the pliers. I don't want to stick my hands in my container. You come over here really close and look. You can see where that says 411. Can you see that? It's blurry. It's not like it's not like. No. See it yet? No. Take my word for it. In there it says 411. There's another one. That's the fan. There's different tip sizes. This one. There's two of them we have that are 511 tips, and one that's a 411 tip. I like to use the 511 tips for most everything. Or actually, 513. Sorry, you can see it with your your natural eyes. See, it says 513. Oh, yeah. So in there, in there it says 513. At the top it says CAT. That's the brand. And then it says 513. I'm going to put this 411 back in there. I want to use the 513. Put these back. And then we're going to go into the spray boot. Put this off of here. Screw this on. You want to make sure that you tighten this all the way. You don't want to really crank it down real hard. But if you don't tighten it up all the way, then product will get through into the air lines and spit out on you while you're spraying and that's not good. And then always make sure that you know which way your fan's going. Okay, quick hit. I've already stirred up the paint. Don't just say I do that. Always stir up the paint before you start spraying. And finish and sealer. So the good idea is to stir it up all the time, every time before you spray. And now I'm going to show you how to turn up the fan. Right now it's set for 30. We push the hand button. Three zero, that would set it to 30. Hand five zero is what I want it to turn it up to. And it'll turn up. The forward button turns it off and on. If you push the stop button, that red button turns it off. Push the forward button, that turns it back on. As you can see, Anthony's X'd out this reverse button. You don't ever want to push the reverse button. That's not a good thing. Now I'm going to spray these doors.